Michael, Halo 2. Halo Infinite 2 was in development before being canceled. Mm. It's been claimed. Mike Strauber, Insider Gaming, 343 Industries, now Halo Studios, was working on the sequel to Halo Infinite, according to a new claim. Halo Infinite 2 was in development before it was ultimately canceled. Rebs Gaming, who has been at the forefront of Halo coverage, says the Halo 2 or Halo Infinite 2 was in development on the Slip Space engine that was developed for the first Infinite game. That development has said continued until a leadership change in late 2022, where the decision was made to move the franchise to Unreal Engine 5. That led to the cancellation of Halo Infinite 2 on Slip Space. Quote, 343's creative team spent a few months learning the Unreal Engine 5 to prepare for the next project, end quote, Reb said. Quote, this la uh, latest un lasted until January 2023 when Microsoft laid off a significant amount of 343 employees, mm. including the entire creative team, mm. end quote. It was added that it's unclear if the next mainline Halo game is Halo Infinite 2, but in Unreal Engine 5, or it's a different game altogether. The report also mentioned that the campaign team that was let go, quote, never felt supported, end quote, by the leadership at the studio. Hmm. Quote, the campaign team felt trapped in a bubble without studio-wide collaboration and clarity about what was happening at the studio and its plans for the future, end quote, he said. It was added that the campaign content was possibly being outsourced with no replacement team being created. Mm. Oh, I like that. I like that. Michael, I like the move to Unreal Engine 5. Yep. What I don't like is everybody gets left in the dark. And this is what happens when a team becomes too big for their own good, Michael. And they get pigeonholed into Halo. Dude, I understand you just rebranded as Halo Studios. And Halo is supposed to be at the forefront of Xbox. It really isn't anymore at all mm -hmm. right like that's where it stands halo is a thing in the past and yeah. i'm starting to wonder if maybe it should have been left there it it seems that way right because i mean the, you look at this news right especially whenever we get that next halo game are we gonna have an outsource campaign is that going to lead for some weird discrepancies that maybe don't get caught because it is a different team working on it because again Everything about switching to Unreal Engine 5, as you said, really, really good. But if the next game yeah. absolutely bombs, where does Halo go from here, right? You're coming off the TV show absolutely bombing and it feels like almost killing that franchise just because of how poorly it was handled. Your recent games haven't been that great either, right? It's not like there's been a Halo game where everyone's like, all right, yeah, this Halo game was fantastic. We're not even in the Call of Duty mode anymore with Halo where it's like, all right, I'm going to buy the next one. It might not be the best, but it's going to be a 7 out of 10 or a 6.5 out of 10, and I'm going to feel like I got my money's worth. That just doesn't even happen. The last Halo had a ton of issues, a ton of things that just, you know, from talking to people who love the Halo franchise and play it, they're like, yeah, this is missing. This isn't great. So, yeah, I think it feels like I'm, I'm starting to agree with you, Drew. Maybe it is time for just to say, all right, Master Chief, it's time to actually hang it up. It doesn't feel like, again, we're getting the reception. And this is what I said we talked about Unreal Engine 5. Maybe it is time for a Halo 3 remaster or a Halo 2 Combat Evolved remaster. Something to get people back into that franchise because it seems the more we talk about it, if they have a, a new game, it's going to bomb. The, the biggest thing for me is that they force themselves to make Halo now, right? Mm -hmm. You're Halo Studios. Before you were 343 Industries, yep. so you had an opportunity if you wanted to to branch out. Instead, Microsoft likes to pigeonhole their own companies, their own studios into making it, well, at least they do with Halo anyways, right? That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Now, when we take a look at Playground Games, they're getting into Fable. So they've branched out from Forza Horizon series into Halo, or it's Fable. So we'll see how that one goes and how that plays out, which we're supposed to find out next year. Dude, Fable's dropping next year, apparently. Well, uh, we will see. Mm, uh, well, I, I said we'll see. I said we'll see. But, <laughs> but you don't see PlayStation going, okay, your studio... This is what you make. You're Naughty Dog. You're now making The Last of Us 3, 4, 5, and 6, right? Or Uncharted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. None of that happens, dude. Naughty Dog is gone. We're like, hey, we're going to start over here. We're going to do Jack and Daxter. 
We're going to get into Uncharted. Now we're going to go with The Last of Us. And now we're going to do something else completely. Mm -hmm. That's what 343 should have done. Straight up, dude. I get there's a passionate team over there for Halo, but it's not working. Will Unreal Engine 5 be the saving grace for the Halo franchise? Probably not, dude. Mm. I'm still concerned, right? I talk about it all the time. My kids don't care about Halo. They don't care at all. So maybe it's time just to move on. Look for that another another big staple that can be the charge for Xbox. Like you see The Last of Us come up. Spider-Man is in there, right? Now talking about Ghost of Yotai as well, or Yote. That's another one for PlayStation that are coming out as bangers. Where Xbox, we're still waiting on a banger, dude. Like, still. Yeah. This is ridiculous. To me, at this point now, I'm surprised Xbox is even around. Like, they're just getting outshined by the competition, whether it's PlayStation or whether it's Nintendo. So what's going on? Yeah, you just bought Blizzard. I say just bought, but Blizzard now in Activision, right? So they're a part of the team as well. So they're definitely making money. (laughs) Straight up. Call of Duty just around the corner. Going to drop into a billion dollars. They might as well just back up the Brinks truck and just just dump out all the buttload of money that we're about to get from that one, which is great. But at the same time, when you talk about your major franchises, dude, not one of them has been hitting at all lately. <laughs>